Good morning, friends. Today is Monday, June 8th, and welcome back to the Diaries of Karen. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's okay now. The sun is here to stay. Blue. a very special day for me today. I get to see my mom for the first time, not through a window, I actually get to physically be, you know, eight feet away from her. Um, as you guys know, my mom lives in a beautiful home. It's for aged women. And um, I haven't been able to see her because of COVID. So finally, we're allowed to be outside on the patio visiting. We're all sort of staggered, you know, uh, at different times. And so today at one o'clock, I get to go see my mom. So I talked to her this morning. There's a few things she wanted me to pick up for her. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, plus, I want to get to the farmer's market this morning. It's Monday. I want to load up on a bunch of fruits and vegetables and I wish the strawberries were ready but they're not quite yet I think maybe in two more weeks so maybe on my next vlog you I'll bring you guys and we'll do you know go strawberry picking uh, which I would love to do and nothing like fresh strawberries I mean there's nothing like fresh strawberries uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, grab some water to go and I think I may make um, I don't know I'm really trying to do intermittent fasting because I just, I need to do something. I've gained probably six pounds during COVID and um, I've been prepping myself all last week for this. And so I think I'm gonna make something that I can just eat at noon today so that I can have, you know, something started uh, to get my day going as far as healthy food. But in the meantime, I really do need some fresh fruit and vegetables. So I'm gonna go grab my farmer's market bag take out Archie and we're going to take a beautiful ride on this gorgeous day today to the farmer's market. So I got all my fruits and veggies. Now I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee. I love this little cafe here. I thought I would share that we do wear our masks when we go inside of stores. I always do wear one. It's not required, but I like to wear one. Um, but when I do come outside, if there's no one near me, I take my mask off. And uh, so that's what I did when I walked out of here. Now, when I went to the cafe, um, I just kept my six feet from her. I was the only person there. But if there were other people around me, I would absolutely have a mask on. Um, it just makes you feel safer. And of course, the first thing I do though when I get to my car is use my Purell. Safety, safety, safety still. So, um, all right guys, well I think I'm going to, where else do I need to go? I'm gonna look at my grocery list to see if there's anything else I specifically need. And then I'm gonna head home, get my groceries put away, and then head to go see my mom. Cause I, uh, let me see my appointments to see her is in an hour and 45 minutes. I wanna make myself a delicious, healthy smoothie. I'm gonna make it for two servings and I think I'm gonna freeze the other one. So on days that I'm busy and I'm out and about, I can just take it frozen and by the time I wanna drink it, it should be thawed out. So let me show you what's inside of this. This is the first time I'm making this specific type of smoothie, so I hope it's good. <laughs> okay, so what it needs is it calls for um, two cups of water and then a half a cup of chocolate protein powder. And then a call for a frozen banana and a frozen avocado, which I do not have. And then it also calls for some romaine chopped lettuce. And then I'm going to put some, I love, love, love this uh, almond butter. It's really good. So I think that's all that goes in here. I'm going to go ahead and get this all together and mix it up. Okay, I know this is a extra long straw, but I love these because you can wash them. Um, all right, guys, so I'm going to try it. I don't have ice because I... I guess it would call for ice if you um, didn't have the frozen avocado and banana, which I didn't. I should have put ice in it, but I don't care. I'm going to try it anyway, so let's see. Mm. Really good. It's delicious. I'm going to add a few ice cubes. I'm going to enjoy this. This is really good. 
I'll list the recipe in the description section. I'm getting ready to head out to go see my mom. I was gonna put lipstick on, I'm like, why bother? We're both gonna have masks on anyway, so uh, I'm gonna go take Archie out and then go visit my mom. I'll pull out the camera if I'm allowed to so she can say hi to all of you. I know you guys have always been so kind and all your sweet comments about my mom, so um, I wanna, I'll just, you know, pull it out real quick so, you know, she can say hi and you guys can see her. Hey, there's my mom! Hi, guys! <laughs> So actually I have her zoomed in, so I am like probably 10 feet away from her, but they have everything nice and safe here and you're doing good, huh Ma? Yay. Yay, nice and healthy. So I'll just show you how pretty this place she is lives. It's just so gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, and it's a pretty day for our visit, huh Ma? I am home and I have been trying to work on a video that I'm going to be filming this week. You guys would have already seen it. And it's going to be on some outdoor entertaining on the patio. I'm also going to be sharing a little bit more information about my new fridge that's out there. And so I'm just trying to get a theme in mind as far as decorating the table, making it look so pretty uh, to have friends over for a luncheon or for a dinner. So let me share with you some of my inspiration right now that's going on in my head. I have no idea if this is what I'm going to end up using or not but what happens is I go down in my basement I just start looking around and looking for things like I just like for something to speak to me so you know I can just get a vision of what I want it to look like and then of course I look at magazines and I go on to Pinterest so let me show you what I've what I've come up with so far tonight's dinner is going to be a deconstructed hamburger salad Nice and healthy, I got some lean beef. I'm gonna go ahead and brown the beef and I'm gonna chop up some lettuce, avocado, tomatoes, scallions, and let me think what else goes on here. I have to look at my list here. I'm gonna make a delicious, oh, some red onion and a delicious um, dressing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the ground beef all browned up. video um, I mean just the table with the beautiful scenery behind me let me show you guys a little kind of sneak peek well you guys would have already seen the video but just wanted to share with you a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes when we film a video this is what I came up with so far well I do love yellow and I love the pop of yellow I love lemons and uh, so I thought this would be perfect for my theme for my get-together I never knew what I really wanted Looking back, I can see it's all clear I'm still a kid, try to act like they all taught me But nothing makes sense anymore Good morning, friends. Tuesday, June 9th. I'm sitting out here on the patio. It's such a beautiful morning. Enjoying my coffee. I'm watching, actually, it's a new, uh, for me new, but it's a reality show on Netflix, and it's called Selling Sunset. I love it. And especially because I love looking at all the homes that they're selling in LA and the surrounding areas just to get like decorating ideas and oh my goodness I love the show so I was like addicted to it last night I watched quite a few episodes last night and I'm watching a few this morning and then here in a little bit I'm gonna shower up yes shower up because I'm gonna go to the pool and I do shower before I go to the pool Jody and I are gonna go to the pool today this is like her first official week of retirement so her and I are gonna hang at the pool today and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It's gonna be a perfect day. It's gonna be 90. Like I, did I say that already? I can't remember. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna join my coffee and finish watching this episode of Selling Sunset. Guys, I forgot to film coming into our pool today. Get little Joes. We're gonna get a club soda with some like slices of orange or something like that. It's always so refreshing. But here's our pool. If you guys haven't seen before, it's just so beautiful. So this is the summer life that we're gonna be enjoying together with Jody and her retirement. All right, so Jody and I are enjoying some club soda with some muddled mint and some lemons. Cheers to retirement, Jodes. Cheers. All right, guys, well, it's actually 3.30 and I'm home from the pool. 
we were just chit-chatting with friends, so I've really never had a chance to even pull out the camera anymore. Uh, but, oh my goodness, it's 91 degrees out. It is so super hot. So I'm just going to make myself a little snack because I am really hungry. So let me show you some of my snacks I've been enjoying lately is just, I love these um, rice cakes and I just put some almond butter on them. And uh, oh, just so delicious. This is one I got from White House Farms yesterday. So I'm gonna eat this as a little snack and I'm gonna try to cool off because I am literally sweating. Took off my bathing suit, rinsed off real quick and just throw on just a cute little comfy t-shirt dress. And um, so now I'm just gonna chill out. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for dinner. I might order something because I might be filming later. I'm not sure. I really don't want to. I'm just so hot and I'm exhausted from being in the sun all day. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd just share with you my little snack, afternoon snack. And then uh, I'm sure I'll be watching TV and hanging out on the patio tonight because I know as hot as it is right now, it'll be the perfect night to be outside. Uh, catching up on my sunset, um, selling sunset, is that what it's called? Series, because I'm like hooked. And there's another one I saw too that looked cute called Magnolias. So if you guys have started to watch that yet, let me know in the comment section. But I think I might even try that one tonight. Excuse Archie barking, he's mad because we're leaving. But Mark and I are gonna go to Sam's Club and look for an umbrella for our patio and then go grab a bite to eat. So it's gonna be a beautiful night for it. So let's go ahead and head on. All right guys, just enjoying a cocktail and I'm gonna eat a salad here outside at BJ's. <laughs> Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 10th. Archie's been barking outside. I have no idea what he's barking at out here, but I think because we have a crane, putting the second floor, or starting to put like the walls of the second floor on this house over here. Here, let me show you guys. You can see. So it looks like you can see the walls. I need to go up a little bit. Did I even say good morning? I don't remember. It's June 9th, I think I did. As you can see next to me here, they just got, it's not gonna have a basement it looks like, so um, they've got the slab down and I'm sure here shortly they're gonna start putting the walls. So that's gonna be going up before you know it. Thought I'd show you how the flowers are all coming along. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. And look who we have. Hello, Archie. I've got to tell you guys, there was a rather large, probably a garden snake, I'm sure, by my rose bushes yesterday. So I'm sure he's around here somewhere. It's sort of freaking me out a little bit. Um, so yeah, every time I come out here now, I'm looking around to see where did he slither off to. Well, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee, maybe sit out here for a little bit. And then I have a Zoom call at 10. And I was sitting around here just chilling out, doing some orchid work. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have a Zoom call. I better shower. <laughs> so that's what I did. That's why I'm all showered up. I was gonna go to the pool today, but it looked like we're gonna get some rain today. So I'm just gonna get some stuff done around here and maybe just take a little drive. There's a few things I do need to pick up. So uh, I might go do that here in a little bit. Thought I'd share this with you guys. You guys know how much I love my leaner creamer with my coffee. Well, um, just trying to be healthier, do this intermittent fasting thing, which is so hard because I'm so hungry and I got two and a half hours yet to eat. But um, anyway, I guess there's a sugar in leaner creamer that's, I don't know, there's something about it. So I still love it, but I'm not gonna use it for a while. But what was suggested to me were these nut pods, and I think it's not bad. Um, this is French vanilla, it just surely doesn't taste like French vanilla. I don't think it has a flavor to it. But this is what I've been using, because this is, this is non-dairy, you guys. Um, it's unsweetened, but it's everything in it is natural. It's all ingredients that you know, that you can read, and like, that makes sense to me. You know, it's not chemicals and stuff like that. And, um, guys up here uh, so anyway that's what I've been doing lately is this and uh, yeah I do love cream in my coffee though and I'm not sure if I shared with you guys 
when I was young, like like my first cups of coffee were that my grandma made, and it was called Angel Coffee. So it's probably like this much cream and that much coffee. But because of that, I just always wanted a lot of cream in my coffee. But this doesn't make it as creamy as, as I would want. Um, you'd have to pour an awful lot, but it's better than nothing. Oh gosh, guys, you know what? I have like no energy to go run errands today. And I do have a few things on my list, but it's really, really hot and humid today. And of course, I've got the air conditioning on and it's like freezing in my house. And I have got it like really high, so it shouldn't be that cold but I keep coming outside to thaw out but then I'm out here for like 10 minutes and I'm roasting so maybe it's because I'm going you know because I'm going in and out that I'm just I'm tired I just I don't want to go run an errand and put on a hot mask it's just not fun like it used to be to run errands you know it's just like so much of a chore as you can see from the winds here and probably hear from the winds that uh, we're gonna get one heck of a storm later today. But after that, tonight is supposed to be just beautiful for the next five days, which I'm thrilled about. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't wanna do anything. You know what I would love to do if it wasn't so hot? I literally would take a nap out here. But I'm drinking my LaCroix. I am so addicted to these, especially this uh, limoncello. It's just so good. So good and uh, so I'm just enjoying this well I think we're gonna grill out some chicken tonight so I'm gonna try to find something else to make with it um, so I think the rain's not supposed to start till like after dinner so I got some chicken out I'm gonna go look up some kind of a yummy barbecue or some kind of a delicious recipe and uh, then I'll share that with you guys but in the meantime I'm just gonna enjoy this nice breeze and my uh, LaCroix here Mark and I may go out in a little bit. I'm hoping to go buy a new, um, I think I talked about this the other day, uh, an umbrella for the deck, a really big one. Because there are times, especially when I'm over in the loungers, that I really just wanna lay there and I don't want the sun beating on me, and I think it'll be perfect. So he's doing a little bit of work, he just came home. He's doing a lot more work, like a little bit in the office, a little bit still at home. Even though they don't, you know, they're allowed to be back in his office, but he's really enjoying being home and I enjoy having him around. So it's been really nice. Um, but hopefully if he has a few minutes, we're going to run to this one place and hopefully maybe pick out our new um, umbrella. And uh, so I think it'll be really pretty here on the patio. So I think we're going to have some barbecue chicken, some good old fashioned chicken on the grill. I'm going to make a salad and maybe just some rice, something easy peasy because it is so hot. I don't want more to be out on the grill, you know, grilling a bunch of stuff. The rice I can put in the microwave because it's like, like kind of microwave ones. Guys, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I am so overcooking right now. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. I'm just trying to do things that are so easy, not too involved. And I think this should be easy enough. And I got some yummy lettuce um, when I went to the farmer's market yesterday. I love me a good salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cut up for the salad. Uh, get some uh, the chicken with some seasoning on it and we'll barbecue it. And then I'm gonna get my rice packets out. I'll show you which ones that and we And these use. are the ones right here. Uh, the ready rice whole grain brown. And I know it's not focusing in on it, but that's what we use. What's going on out there, Arch? Huh? What's going on? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. These just came today. Uh, these are all my headbands. They, I think I got, I don't remember, 12. They were so inexpensive. And they're super, super cute. Here. Look at it. I put this one on. They are so lightweight, you don't even feel like you've got a headband on. And that's what I like about it so much. So I'm checking it out in the mirror. Yeah, I like them a lot. So cute. So there's my headbands. I'll link them for you guys. They are super cute. And I, again, they're so super comfortable. And that's why I wanted to order these. I got really good reviews. I'm enjoying this beautiful night out tonight. Pouring myself a glass of wine while I reply to some comments from all of you lovelies. So, let's see here. We need to load up our wine a little bit more here. Let's see, is this one open? Yep. I'm just gonna pour this one because this is what's open already in my lovely new air fridge. I 
got LEXA. I'm going to play some yacht rock music. And look at this cool phone charger I got from FabFitFun. I'm going to charge my phone and reply to your lovely comments, you guys. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. Huh, Archie? You going to hang with Mommy? You going to hang out with Mommy? Okay. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It's June 11th, taking Archie out. I'm gonna head over to Jody's here soon because Lauren and I are gonna be filming Jody's famous sushi recipe. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I love sushi. I've been eating it for a long, long time. And Jody truly makes one of the best sushis out there. And so we're gonna teach you guys how to make it. And if you don't like fish, that's okay, because we're gonna make, uh, I think, California rolls too that are just with vegetables. Uh, so I think you guys are gonna love it. So I'm dressed and ready to head over there. And then we got bocce tonight, so I can't wait. I'm really excited about bocce. Our first game of the season, uh, and it's gonna be just a gorgeous day today. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to a, a fun day with friends, and then more fun tonight with our bocce friends. So. Just wanted to jump on and say good morning you guys we're over at jody's getting ready to film Look at the beautiful cookies that they're going to be giving out at her daughter abby's baby shower oh my goodness and i'll leave this contact lady's name in the description section because i met her but i've never had anything made by her um. as you can see i'm out on the patio we had really a great time filming the sushi today it was delicious it turned out so good i ended up changing into my my comfy little throw on <laughs> t-shirt dress always when i come home and then i'm going to change here soon freshen up to get ready for bocce mark has a meeting tonight so gary and jody are going to pick me up and then we're going to play bocce and then by the time our bocce game's over with mark should be done with this meeting so then he's going to come and meet us um, at the lake club for dinner so it'll be a nice night and so right now I'm just watching a little TV out here and uh, just enjoying this gorgeous day. It's only like, I don't know, 78, nice and breezy, no humidity, which is perfect. Uh, so yeah, but I just want to let you guys know, jump on and tell you, we just had so much fun today. And weren't those cookies so beautiful from Abby Shower? I can't wait to get my own personal cookie on Saturday. <laughs> guys, I'm all ready to go here for bocce. Like I said, Gary and Jody are going to be picking me up here soon. I got this uh, t-shirt dress on uh, that I got from Amazon. I share with you on my Amazon video. And it is long sleeve, but it's going to get chillier tonight. I think it'll be perfect because we're going to stay and eat after. And I don't want to be, you know, chilly. I think this will be, like, perfect. Um, so I'll show you my outfit in the mirror. But it's really comfy. Comfy. I got some, just some um sandals on flat sandals and i'm so excited to see our bocce team you guys uh i mean it's been since last summer so we haven't seen them since and we always have so much fun together they are such great people and uh, i can't wait to just to uh, spend some time with them tonight so let me show you my outfit in the bigger mirror so here it is it's really comfy it's got my little flat little lv sandals on and um good to go so I'm really excited. First bocce game of the season. <laughs> if I'm sounding funny when I talk, when I eat like a lot of tomatoes or vinegar, I, I get like a little ulcer in the side of my tongue. It is driving me crazy. It hurts so bad to talk. <laughs> so I wish I had something to numb it up right now because it's driving me crazy. Um, but well, hopefully, you know, I'll have a glass of wine. I won't feel it. Who knows? For those of you that have not really seen our diaries or vlogs in the summertime, this is our bocce court at our club. And um, we have so much fun. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, whoever takes care of these grounds does an amazing job. So soon enough, these are going to be filled up with a bunch of us playing bocce. And I am okay. Jody's good she's definitely much better than me and little lauren tell you what she can kick some butt too when she starts to play bocce every once in a while i have a really good game but that's far few and in between but just look at the gorgeous view that we get to have when we're out here with our friends so just wanted to give you a little peek of what it looks like here 
just so gorgeous. All right, guys, we won. Woohoo! Can I get a cake up box? Yeah, of course. Yay! <laughs> Happy <laughs> retirement! <laughs> it's supposed to be last <laughs> week. <laughs> if this was whole Jan Jan Janice's birthday. This was Janice's thought. Did so. you get another job and retire again? <laughs> She's bought him out. What? <laughs> I'm just like, hey, hey, hey. Hey. I appreciate it. Friends, it is Friday, June 12th. And I'm going to run to. Do you guys remember before the pandemic started, I took you guys to um, this beautiful boutique that sold all uh, bath stuff and lotions and scrubs and um, all kinds of just beautiful things that, you know, luxury creams and things like that. Well, um, actually I'm excited because they are going to be in our July Beastel box and I get to go get the tester of uh, one of the items that's gonna be in the box. I cannot wait to try it out. So uh, I'm gonna head over there here soon. And then I have to get one more gift for our friend Jody's daughter. And, uh, well, soon to be granddaughter, I should say. And so I'm gonna go run and do that too. So I'm gonna see what I can find in addition to what I already purchased. Uh, so I'm gonna go head out. It's a beautiful day today. Happy Friday. All right, you guys, I'm in homemade bath and I am over the moon excited about this so those of you that have um purchased rb style box are going to be getting the two orchids hand scrub which smells absolutely fabulous but we're also going to be doing a uh a little business uh with homemade bath here in the future so stay tuned uh the orchids are very excited about this you guys you know how much we love anything luxurious you guys know how much i'm loving all my products from her and to be working with her is going to be very exciting and we're looking forward to sharing all these uh just beautiful products, scented products, things that make your body feel so good and smell so delicious. <laughs> and uh, so I'm real excited about it. I had to jump on here and share this with you guys. Hey guys, I am home. So I picked up this cute little book, Where's the Unicorn, for baby Hallie. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this outfit. This beautiful headband. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And the top. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? And look at these pants at the bottom. Look at how pretty. So then I got this cute little um, seat for her to, um, it's like a, Morgan has it for Giada. It's like a height chair, but it's put like one you can put on the counter or on the table. And Morgan loves it. So uh, that should be coming today. Uh, perfect timing, thank goodness. So I'm gonna wrap all those up here in a little bit. But, uh, oh my goodness, you guys, also that sugar scrub smells so good. I can't wait to use it on my hands. And I love also the benefit, is it has soap in it. So obviously, if you wanna give your hands a nice uh, sugar scrub, it has the soap in it, which also, you know, um, helps with COVID and all that kind of stuff. So it's like a, a double duty kind of uh, a product, which, and it smells so good on top of it. So I think I'm gonna go use that on my hands and then get this stuff ready to uh, wrap it up. And hopefully the other gift will come soon so I can get that wrapped up and have that all done. So um, I got everything I wanted to get done today so I feel accomplished. <laughs> Alrighty friends, while Mike and Kim are gonna head on over here, we're going to make some pizza and some lettuce wraps. And sit on the patio, we just got our new umbrella. Oh my gosh, Mark and Mike are putting it up right now. I cannot wait to see it all put together. So I'll show you guys that when it's all done. But I just wanted to jump on here. Just got one of my little headbands on because it's real breeze, little breezy out there tonight. So why have my hair in the face, right? Actually, I should probably wear these for video so I wouldn't touch my hair so much. But <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and see how far they're coming along with the umbrella and then I'll show you guys. All right, friends, here is our beautiful umbrella. Sorry about Archie yipping. I cut some pepperoni. Close. And he wants pepperoni, so I'm gonna close. We want to hear him barking. Look at this gorgeous umbrella. It's huge. <laughs> it's got a huge base over here. You can see it. It can tilt, go all kinds of different directions. Tilt up, tilt down. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm sorry the light is getting so... Uh, dark here hold on so 
Look at it. Oh, I love it. It's the perfect addition to our patio. I love it. So I'm so pumped. I couldn't wait to show you guys. Okay, sorry about the lighting. I don't know why it keeps doing this. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to go pour myself some vino. Kim should be here um, in a few minutes, but I wanted to show you. Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I'm here on the patio doing my cup of coffee under my umbrella <laughs> with a blanket because it's actually a little chilly out here this morning. Mark went golfing with Zach, and um, I'm watching another one of my favorite YouTube channels that I'm loving is the Chateau Diaries. How cute. I love how she calls her mom mummy because I call my mom mummy. So cute. And then look who's on my lap. Yes, little Archie, ragamuffin. He needs, he need a haircut. Yes, you do. In a little bit, I'm gonna get a shower. And this morning is our friend Jody's daughter's dry through shower. So um, my sister-in-law and niece are coming in from Columbus. Aunt Missy and I and my mother-in-law, we're all gonna go for the drive-through uh, this morning. So I'm gonna shower here soon. I'm not sure what the temperature is supposed to be today, but I feel like it's gonna be a little chilly on the chilly side. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on, but it's just the drive-through, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. But I'm gonna go finish watching this, enjoy my coffee, and then I'll show you my outfit, or I don't even know if I even need a specific outfit, but anyway. I'll show you what, I, what I'm wearing today and what else we've got going on. I thought I'd share with you this flourless banana bread. It looks really good, you guys, and it's just a few ingredients. So let's make this together. So what it calls for is like four to five bananas, one cup of peanut butter, and a cup of chocolate chips, and I just use um, the GR Deli like 80% or something like that, um, and then two cups of like old-fashioned oats so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blend first the bananas hopefully this will all blend okay archie knows i'm using this because he always gets crazy when i run anything that makes a noise okay and then the oats and then the peanut butter hope this works hope this is not going to be too full then the peanut butter, and it says to blend it, but don't over blend it. So let's do that first. I mixed in the chocolate chips, put this in my loaf pan. Now, it does say that you can thinly slice some banana slices on top of this. I'm not going to. I just, I don't know, I just don't think it needs it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. It says between 25 and 35 minutes, so I'll check it in 25 minutes. Guys, I want to show you the banana bread is done, and then I'm going to head out here in a few minutes to pick up Aunt Missy to head to the drive-through um, baby shower. I just thought I wore pink today because I know she's having a little baby girl. So let me show you the banana bread, and then I'm going to head out. Here it is. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I should taste test a little piece, and then I'm going to wrap it real quick. Take Archie out, and then go pick up Aunt Missy. All right. Well, we decided to go grab a bite to eat now. That the beautiful drive-through shower. Uh, we did that, and it was just so nice, you guys. Everything looks so pretty. The cookies. I'll show you those again. So now we're going to have lunch, and I got my sister-in-law Donna. <laughs> so uh, we're going to sit outside and enjoy this beautiful day. Yeah, I, I like the yellow. So I thought I'd share with you guys look how pretty my cookie is from Abby's Baby Shower. I love this idea. It's this cute little prayer. And inside of this box is, I'll show you, and we are to light this the day Hallie is born. How cute is that? And here again is the prayer. Mm, such a cute idea. So I think I'm actually going to try out my my cookie. <laughs> Looks so good. Well, good. Well, good morning. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. I actually just threw on something today because we're going to get ready for bocce tonight. But I have a few things too that I wanted to share with you. I keep forgetting. I, uh, I was a walk around the house. There's all these things I want to share with you before I get changed um, and uh, ready to head out to bocce. So let me show you. 
Okay, so I got all these in no particular order, but this is a cute little workout. Um, I love this workout top. Oh my goodness, this is just so cute and comfortable to wear with leggings. Now, not that I'm a big uh, workout girl, but I love the mesh back and it comes in so many colors, you guys. I really love it. I love that it's not really form fitting, so you don't have to worry about, you know, like, you know, your belly or different things. It sort of covers up really, really nice. Okay, next, you guys, as we were talking earlier uh, in this vlog, you know, I was doing a video, an entertaining video, and talking about one of our um, new gifted items that I received, and my theme was lemons, as you guys probably already saw the video, so this is a cute dress that I wore. I love, love this dress. I cannot wait to wear it, you know, out and about. So my lemon dress. Oh, are you guys ready for the next ones? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, well, these are the new, this is a brand new top to the Two Orchids Boutique. I've got to tell you guys, the quality, I, I, it's unbelievable. I mean, the look at the, look at this. I just love the design here. I mean, it is just simply gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I think all the detail that's in this shirt, I love the sleeve here. And this is gonna look so super cute with, you know, capris or jeans. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm over the moon excited about this and I know Lauren's gonna just flip out when she gets to see these. They just came. Okay, um, they came Saturday, but I didn't have a chance to share with you guys. Okay, so look at our gorgeous dress, you guys. Look how beautiful, again, the gorgeous detailing. I love the stitching in here. I love this color for spring and summer. And guess what? It has pockets. So um, if I have a chance, I'll take some pictures and try to just maybe put it in the thumbnail or something like that. But um, as far as so you guys can know, in the dress, um, I wore a size medium. And in the shirt, because of the chest area, um, a large. So. Look, these, look for these on the Two Orchids website. Showered up, we're gonna head to Bocce. We're gonna go a little bit early. Gary and Jody are gonna pick us up and we're gonna go grab a bite to eat before our game. Our game's at five. Uh, so uh, Mark is showering now. That's why I'm out here filming. I don't wanna film in the bedroom with Mark showering. I don't want him walking out and be like, woohoo. So uh, anyway, I just got this cute little simple leopard dress on. I'm gonna wear some flats. I gotta put my jewelry on, my perfume perfume on yet there are a few things that i keep forgetting to share with you guys so i'm going to pull them out here before we head out and to share a few things that i uh got this week that i thought maybe if you guys are interested i'd share with you all right so a few things i wanted to share with you guys these are well two things are by tula and what i like about this my friend jody actually shared with me like this i don't even know how many months ago but it's a glow and get it and basically it like kind of refreshes, kind of the under the eye. It's like a brightener and I really like it. And I just, and I just hear a lot of great reviews about it and I love it, especially this time of year. So I purchased this. And then also this one from Tula and actually Jody's daughter, Emily is the one that told me about this one. And basically it is sunscreen and it's an SPF. I can't remember, I think it's 30. What I would like about it is when you put it on, it also gives you a really pretty glow, but it also um, has like effectiveness of a really good skincare too. Um, so when she told me about this, I'm like, oh, this sounds so good. And, um, and I love that it gives you such a nice, pretty little sheen. It's not sticky. Um, so this one too, and then these two, actually I got from my friend Kristen Game, and they're actually blush sticks. And oh my gosh, you guys, they're so pretty. Check out this one. How gorgeous and you can wear this not only as blush but um if you wanted like a pink eyeshadow or actually you can throw it on as a lipstick so i actually i have this on today and i also have this one on today and this one you can also put on as um if you wanted an eyeshadow so i did a combination of both of these today um on my cheeks so not, and if you guys saw the clip before you'll see what they both look like together these are so pretty oh my gosh they go on so beautifully and so easy to bet blend and they're buildable so um i was real excited when um christian was telling me about these all right well we're getting picked up from jody and gary so i'm gonna go uh, get myself ready to get out the door watch you tonight guys we're losing right, guys well we lost but it's okay we had a lot of fun 
Jody's freezing. Hello. All right, guys, we're home from Bocce, and I am going to make a cup of coffee and have a piece of my banana bread. I'm going to share with you my jammies that I got from the um, shop. I love jewelry. It's their, like their jammy. Um, it comes like every three months. So I, you guys know, I've talked about it before. Let me show you the ones that just came out. They are so cute. So check out the cute little lemon nightgown. I love it, so cute. The lemons, it's so super soft. Um, but I, I wore these last night and I forgot to show you guys. So I wanted to show you my lemon jammies. And I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some coffee and I'm gonna show you guys a piece of that um, banana bread. You guys, I got my coffee and look at my delicious banana bread with those chocolate chip chunks. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is heavenly. I will definitely list this in the description section. Well guys, it's been a fabulous week having you guys come along with me. Um, definitely summer has shown up here in Ohio. The weather's been so beautiful. A little bit chilly in the evenings, but I don't mind that. I love it for sleeping especially. <laughs> but um, I just have, you know, loved having you guys along with me. And um, all I can say is, um, hope that you guys are staying safe and hopefully going back to some sort of normalcy and uh, i can't wait to see you guys in two weeks so thank you so much for hanging out with me if you haven't subscribed or if you have subscribed but you're not quite sure check it again because for some odd reason people have been unsubscribed we don't know why but please check to make sure that you are share this video with all your friends and family thank you so much for your love and support and i will see you guys in two weeks bye bye